This episode, we start heading south from Cairns, showing you some of the magnificent swimming holes along the way. We also find some of the best free camps this region has to offer. G'day, I'm Will. And here we are. <laughs> and this is Luz. Beautiful. And together, we are travelling around Australia in our 1987 Toyota Hiace named Joey. Woo! Woo! Incredible. So nice, hey. There we go with that. Follow along to see these roads we ride. Welcome back everyone. Um, so our trip starts at Green Patch Campground, which is just near Gordon Vale. I believe it's the only free camp anywhere near Cairns. So it is it is brilliant. It's got amenities, it's got showers, it's got toilets. Um, you can pay for a hot shower. I think it's only two bucks for that as well, which is really, really cool that the council provides all that. Um, but being the only one near Cairns, it does get pretty busy. We got there early and then by dark, you know, there's just caravans, motorhomes, campers, absolutely everywhere. So uh, do definitely get in a bit earlier. Other than that, it's a fantastic camp and it gives you a great little base to explore the area. So today we are going to head to Babinda, specifically the Babinda Boulders Campground. Um, so when we get there, we'll show you around and we'll go for a little swim. So this is the uh, Devil Pool Walk at the um, Babinda Boulders. There's actually a really, really cool story about this place and Luce is gonna tell you all about it as we walk there. The legend of the boulders is quite a spooky story. It is a creation story which is an important part of Aboriginal culture. The story surrounds two lovers from different tribes, Olana and Daiga. The love was forbidden due to tribal law, so they ran away together. They were found camping by the creek, and so Daiga returned to his tribe, but Ulana threw herself into the water and the ground opened up, casting huge boulders into the air. Her spirit is believed to remain here today, as she calls for Daiga to return and entices travellers, especially men, to join her in the water. Over the years, a number of young men have drowned here, so heed the warning and do not swim in the devil's pool. And if that's not a good enough story to stop you from swimming there, I don't know what is. I reckon it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> I must say, it does look pretty inviting to swim in that bit down there. It's a little bit deeper than the main swimming hole, which we'll go have a dip in later. But yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to swim in here and get pushed away by the current into some rocks. Be cool for like white water rafting though. Another very enticing swimming spot that we can't swim in oh, down there. Just jump from here, it's deep oh. enough. Just straight in. Although you can't swim at any points along the walk, closer to the car park is the area you can swim and it is very fresh. But it was a perfect way to cool down before walking back to camp. Good morning. morning. Oh, what an incredible sleep that last night. That was so much better. The other <laughs> one was just so busy, so this one was nice, a bit more quiet. Oh, peaceful. It was yeah. unreal. We're just having some Vegemite and cheese on toast and getting ready to head to Josephine Falls today. This, yeah, this boulders camp is, it is incredible. If you've got like a little van or just a car with a rooftop tent, like you could fit heaps of people here. However, if you do have a caravan, there is very limited caravan sites. Um, so if you are traveling in a bigger caravan, definitely get in or plan to get in as early as possible because the sites do fill up quick here. They do. 
Uh, only other warning <laughs> is we've flies. been yeah we've been running around slapping our legs like crazy, probably looking a bit strange. But yeah, the March flies here aren't too bad, but they're definitely annoying. So yeah. there's enough to be that. annoying. Yeah, that's yeah. Ooh, as I just said. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you at Josephine Falls. Yeah. <laughs> and this beautiful piece of uh, tropical paradise is Wooroo Nan. <laughs> <laughs> The thing that starts with a W, we'll put it up on the screen right now. <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's a fun one to pronounce, actually. Anyway, this beautiful tropic walk is uh, a 600 metre stroll to Josephine Falls, which we're heading to right now. Similar to um, the Babinda Boulders. There's kind of a short little 600 metre spider web, nice. 600 metre walk from the uh, car park to the actual swimming part of the falls. And then once you get there, there's another like kilometre walk to go to some lookouts and things. Exactly the same as well. There's the top falls up the far end that you can't swim in. So we're gonna go there first, work up a sweat and then wash it all off at the bottom. No way! Oh, that is beautiful! Just taking a shot of this from here isn't doing it any justice. I'll be back. I'm going to go get the drone. Freaking cool is that? The lighting is so just, cool. the lighting's perfect at the moment. Anyway, Beautiful. after doing that, two laps on that walk to go get the drone oh, again. It's hot. It is hot. Time for a swim. Let's go for a swim. Oh, Sliding down the rocks at Josephine Falls was so much fun. After a long day in the sun, we headed back to Babinda to their Rotary Park free camp for a much needed rest. Join us next episode as we explore the Cassowary Coast.